Hi, Carter. Can you tell me initially what happened on flight 1380? Yes, there was an intended flight from LaGuardia Airport in New York to Dallas Love Field, and there were 144 passengers on board, and about 20 minutes into the flight, um, there was a loud noise that signaled to the pilot and the crew that there was something wrong with the flight. And after quick notice that something was going wrong and initially figuring out that one of the engines was blown, the pilots made the decision to make an emergency landing in Philadelphia. And while we are devastated at the loss and the fatality of Miss Jennifer Reardon, we are so thankful for the flight and crew involved as well as the passengers trust in our airline to get them safely landed in Philadelphia. Okay. So what's next for Southwest and the investigation into this plane? Yes, so we are in direct contact with the National Transportation Safety Board as well as the Federal Aviation Administration to support an immediate coordinated response to the accident. We're in the process of gathering additional information regarding flight 380 and we'll fully cooperate in any investigative process. But right now we really are just doing whatever we can to take care of the passengers on board as well as Ms. Reardon's family and taking immediate action to make sure that everyone's accounted for. Do you take full responsibility for this accident or are you trying to, is there, is there blame to be shared with the, the engines maker or the plane manufacturer? I mean, absolutely, but we are just so thankful for the passengers involved and the part that they played in making sure that they were fully cooperative to the flight and crew. And we have the utmost respect for our captains on board that made very strong and smart decisions in the moment. And like I said, there's gonna be a further investigation with the makeup and the software for the flight, but I think it's important to right now just be focusing on the survival of the 148 people who were on board, but also we it doesn't ever eclipse the loss of a person. And as the first domestic fatality in the history of our company, what we really wanna focus on right now is ensuring that nothing like this ever happens again. I understand that. Um, I kinda wanna talk about the maintenance workers for a little bit. Do you believe that they were cutting corners? Is there too much pressure being put on workers? to keep these planes running? You know, we saw a lot of really unprecedented things that day. And I'm just, I'm so thankful for the Southwest community. And that includes the maintenance workers, the employees, the flight attendants, our captains, and everyone involved that proved to be so resilient and something that, like I said, has never happened before. So we just, we wanna show our full support to the people involved and that includes the maintenance workers because we would never put anyone in a situation or any passenger in a situation where they could be presented with something like this knowingly. So of course, I don't put any blame on the maintenance workers because we have to strike a balance of making sure that our employees are taken care of as well as ensuring that that translates to keeping every passenger safe. And my last question, um, I understand Southwest has like a low cost business model. You want to be the lowest cost airline, um, which means you are t doing a lot of frequent takeoffs and landings. With that model, with that business model, are you putting passengers at risk with all the flights um, daily? There Absolutely not. I mean, we of course prioritize low fees, but that doesn't come from a place of cutting corners or trying to cut down necessary fees that comes from a place of what southwest has built our business on and that's to have the greatest customer service in air, the airline industry and with that being said we compensated each passenger five thousand dollars to cover any immediate financial fees as well as a one thousand dollar voucher each passenger is allowed to change their flight up for the next 12 months but again prioritizing low fees has nothing to do with diminishing safety it has to do with taking care of our customers in the best way possible and I think Southwest has proven that over its long history and has proven to be low fare but also extremely accommodating to every customer involved okay thanks for talking to me today <laughs> thanks so much